Aries, you are, you know, you are becoming a new lifestyle. So you're becoming is in your lifestyle. The way you eat, the way you go, how do you go to work? Do you pick up the kids? You know, is it quality? Are you, are you like the Jeffersons on the top floor? Are you like whatever on the bottom floor? Like where, it, what is your becoming? What are you becoming in the end, right? I've had a lot of philosophical discussions with people um, about how Aries are really changing, really changing. I'm seeing Aries is consider the we all the time. Whereas when I started this practice, I did not see that ever. I joked about that. That was cute and adorable, you know, but also annoying. How was all I, 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 you know, and talking to you and Aries was all I, I, I. And all you heard about was them. Always. They never talked about me. They never included me in the conversation. I know I'm being grossly. There are certain areas that were above that, certain, but it was rare. Frankly, it was rare, but it's okay. Uh, that's who you, that was the role you were playing. Now the role you were playing incorporates your entire world with you. You are incorporating how it will affect your coworkers, how it will affect your wife or husband, how it will affect your children. And maybe you did in the past once shit hit the fan, but now I feel like before you initiate, you'll be incorporating your entire lifestyle how I end up becoming. So if I am a jerk here, I will become in a lifestyle where I am, you know, crit ridiculed uh, and not trusted. So considering like the life that you will become. Now, with Pluto and Capricorn at 29 degrees, this directly trines into and affects your potential for your career success. If you don't become the we in your life, you will be limited in your potential of how far you can go in your career and legacy. You literally will be clipping your own wings, Okay. And since the world will be half in and out of the we I phase, probably for the rest of our life, um, you're gonna you're gonna be some sort of a of a great you know example of ourselves, you know, basically humbling our ego, which means a winged ego, as I call it, or a humble ego, is one that reports to the heart. If your ego needs your heart's permission, then you are evolved, my friend. If your ego only needs your mind's permission, watch out. So when the sun goes in Libra, you are a purist in the sense that. You will, for the next week, redetermine the capacity of you, the I versus the we. And this is how you treat yourself. Do you respond to yourself as an I, or do you respond to yourself as a we? Now, by the way, we is not just you. We is also we the people, we the nation, we the country of, we the city of, we the whatever. So if you respond to yourself considering the we, I believe you will evolve to a higher re relationship to yourself, and you'll start to see new uh, new options for power and uh, and um, interest that can unfold. If, however, you respond to yourself only thinking of the I, then I believe you will stay at the level you're at. Next opportunity for ascension will be next year. With the Earth in Aries, what ends up actually happening from this work is that you craft a new ego operating system, EOS. So your ego operating system, that means your, your, your fight or flight, your flinching. In essence, how do we get out of fight or flight? We get out of fight or flight by uh, changing the dynamic of us versus I, I versus the world, man versus the world, man versus, you know, we learned this in the literature. I remember in English class, it's like man versus the world, man versus this, man versus that. I remember asking my English teacher, why is man always first something else? Why is it man working with? Why isn't this an equal sign? And she said, techie, stay after class, which was common. I had to be staying after class because there's interesting concepts that just were outside the normal scope. And she saw it and they saw it as an interruption. Um, they're like, you should just major in philosophy or something in college. Uh, they were kind, but you know, they didn't like me talking about like blowing the, bringing the third eye perspective in. I was just curious. So the point is that your new ego, which is what's crashing with uh, Earth and Aries, your operating system, could say the part of you that responds automatically is being programmed by whether or not you relate to yourself as a we or an I. It's serious, just